Hi, this is Takashi no from Jazz Love Japan. Today I want to feature one album which I think, you know, as the title goes, uh, one of the most underrated, overlooked jazz albums in the entire modern jazz history. <laughs> Maybe I might be exaggerating, but you know, I love this album. And um, yeah, but I think, you know, this is my first time to talk about that album, you know. Yeah, of course, this is a reissue, but you know, I, I think um, great, great album. But at the same time, you know, it's a kind of a mysterious album because, you know, the concept here is, um, I don't know, really, I don't know why this kind of an album came out in the late 50s. The album is this. I don't know whether you know this album, you know, the title, I don't know whether this is a real title in the Sony Rollins plays. And, you know, this is a kind of in you know, a compilation album. Side one, if you look at side one or side A, uh, the Sony Rollins, you know, plays. But, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you look at the side B, side two, uh, that's a Thad Jones, you know, Thad Jones ensemble yeah so they are um, the sessions are two complete different sessions compiled together and the producer here as you can see at the back of the you know the sleeve here you know the legendary jazz critic Leonard Feather he's the one producing this album you know sorry uh, Sony Rollins plays Yes, and the recording, I mean the sessions, uh, the side one session, the Sony Rollins um, was recorded in 1957 and just one day after the legendary Blue Note Village Vanguard live session. Yeah, so that's the date, you know, the credit that, you know, this album, you know, tells you. So that's a fact. So obviously, you know, the, uh, the energy that Sonny Rollins, you know, uh, plays here in that session is great. Yeah, very good. And um, for the side B, you know, the Thad Jones ensemble, uh, was recorded in 1956, so one year before the Sony Rollins session. And uh, I don't know the details about the, you know, the recordings were not known. You know, uh, as long as I see and I I read this line out in Japanese here, you know, the Sony Rollins you know session was recorded. As I told you, you know, just one day before, ah, sorry, one day after the legendary Village Vanguard live session in the same New York. And the Thad Jones Ensemble was recorded in 1956. Um, you know, there are two parts. Yeah, that, that's what they say, you know, 1956 in December, you know, in December. But, um one track only was recorded the following 1957 in new york yeah that's the thing so i don't know where exactly in new york you know there is no information about that but anyway that's the thing and uh the label that these sessions were recorded and are released is called period Yes, this is the original jacket design. Of course, this is a reissue, as I told you. Period. You know, very, very minor jazz label that I didn't know, you know, uh, until this reissue came out. And by the way, this is a reissue by the Nippon Columbia Japan. And uh, Nippon Columbia Japan, here in Japan, you know, this album, Sony Rollins Plays, uh, was you know, reissued many times. Uh, actually, in the early 70s, 
the same Nippon Columbia Japan uh, reissued this. But you know, they didn't use the original um, label design like this one. But when it, come, when, when it came to the, the late 70s, uh, Nippon Columbia Japan reissued the same title, this one, with the original label design, this one. Uh, that was, uh, you know, the late 70s. And later on, uh, I think, you know, uh, Venus, yeah, Venus Circles Japan, you know, uh, reissued the same title, this one. So here in Japan, you know, this album, I mean, this title has been reissued many times, you know. So this album is very popular here in Japan, and jazz collectors know this album, but... So I don't think, um, you know, many jazz collectors outside of Japan, you know, know this album, you know. Yeah, that's what I think. And, yeah, of course, as I said, you know, at the beginning, you know, this is a, a kind of mysterious album, you know. Uh, not many information is available, you know, behind the scene of this album, you know, how it was produced. Yeah, of course, the Leonard Feather produced this album, but, you know, uh, no specific inf information is available. But the sessions present here, Sonny Rollins and the Thad Jones, I think are uh, very good, you know, <laughs> very good. And also the recording condition. I don't know who did uh, record these in the sessions, but anyway, the recording condition is also good. And the Nippon Columbia Japan cutting and the pressing are also superb, really, really good, you know. The sound quality here is very good. Yeah, I, I love it very much. And this is one of my, you know, favorite albums of the entire modern jazz. That's why I'm saying that um, this is one of the, the most underrated, you know, jazz albums or overlooked jazz albums in the entire modern jazz history. Yeah, it's such a good, good album. And in case you don't know this and uh, you don't have this, yeah, of course, the original is very hard to come by. Uh, I don't think, you know, at the time of the release in the late 50s, uh, they, they didn't, you know, you know uh, press many copies, that I'm sure. So it's very difficult for you to get the original, of course. But uh, the reissue like this one is very good, especially with the original, you know, label design reissue by the Nippon Columbia Japan. Uh, yeah, that's what I recommend you to, you know, dig and uh, find one copy for you. Yes, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And lastly, I always keep saying, you know, just continue staying safe, healthy, wherever you are. And uh, just remember that we are connected with the music we love, you know, jazz. Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.